Now, I know it's been a couple days since I've been on these YouTube streams. Honestly, in terms of the game, I haven't been playing that much. I knew the rollover was coming, which this is what it's about. I knew Team of the Year was coming, which we'll talk about that as well. But as you can see above me, 3.8 million training. I know what time it is if you're new to the channel. Every time overall boost goes up, we go in on mystery packs. Because what happens is when you open up the packs, now in terms of the training pack, you wait to the pack odds update until the 97s are in the game, team of the year, the overalls update, and then you get the new odds. So that's what we're here to do today. That's about 200 packs, give or take. Um, now, twitch.tv slash the root of truth today, we will be live at content time to open up the packs. We're just going to rip the mystery packs in the video today. Then I'm going to save it for when the content comes out. But team of the year, which should be in live about 1.30. So if you want to come through the stream, we are going to be live. You guys should be seeing this around 10 o'clock. I'm going to try to get it out early so you guys know I'm going to be streaming at that time. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey, ain't we been through it all? Then we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, check the score. No, I'm balling on Okay, boys. Now, just to talk quickly about the Jason Kelsey, EA did tweet out. They identify the issue with Jason Kelsey. They're working on a resolution. Hopefully, everyone just gets a BND 99 center that would be a w but as i said mystery pack rollover cheese now most people want to know what i got my training at sorry i had to pick up my phone so i got it at 3.3.8 i got it at 1.7 so it's about a 6.4 million coin pack opening now by the time you guys i'm on twitch and if you're watching this um and you come check me out on twitch i may even have more packs but we're gonna rip into it and like i said this should be about 200 packs we're hoping to see some pro maxes some star elites if I can get maybe 50 of each of those, I would be happy. Very unlikely, but I digress. We're gonna try to move with that, right? Um, look, let's just talk about team of the year. Overall, I believe it is disappointing. And I said this on stream, that team of the year, if it doesn't get a chemistry, which it doesn't sound like it doesn't, it doesn't sound like it does, excuse me, it could be mid. And I told people to sell your combine cards last week, which, you should have last week when they were 650k and buy back on the hype of team of the year because if you would have bought back on the hype of team of the year most of the common cons were like 400k or so which why the hell are you giving us so many super bowl packs and before you continue with the video comment down below which one of the packs you think we're going to get more of i think it's between super bowl packs pro max fantasy packs star elites playmakers get a goals and legends which ones you're going to think we get more of but nevertheless so a lot of people are complaining about they sold their team and now ooh, ooh, team of the year is mid you always buy and sell off of hype always so with the hype of team year coming if you would have sold your um combine cards like i said last week last week you're on there 650k and you bought them back at 400k you would have made back a nice easy 200k profit and still got the cards but not everyone chose to do that me personally i did a couple like i told you guys i was keeping my broncos players um but my non-broncos players like i did it with um bo jackson quarterback and bo jackson right outside linebacker scooped him back up yesterday for 400k which for me it was a bit different because most of y'all know if you watch my channel i invested in 93s last week when they're at 80k um between it was the what combine part one to part two and what happened was they shot back up to 130 so i built all my champions for 400k anyway so i was already making a profit on the champions at 250k but then i made an additional 250k when i bought them back so like i said it is what it is i'm keeping my team now in terms of team of the year there are a couple cards that i think are cracked fred warner um with the zero ap pick artist and zero ap mid zone is must have um to pair along if you want to um patrick willis if you want to have two mid zones in the middle of the field i think sauce garner is one of the better excuse me the best slot in the game along with him and patrick sartain both get pick artists, poke get flats on for free. That's going to be completely glitchy. And honestly, outside of those two, man, there's not no one really else. Josh Allen is really good, but Bo Jackson does exist. I believe Josh Allen gets the God stack for five AP, five AP, where I think Bo gets it for six. But obviously, Bo gets the X factor, so here, not there. But the receivers, um, look, they're good. Puka Nakua is really good. I don't know why we're getting Super Bowl packs. EA, stop with the Super Bowl packs, please. Um, Puka Nakua is good. The LTD, Kyle Hamilton, they completely, they completely butchered that card. I don't know if they intended to make that card a user or what they ended to, intended to do with that card, but man, they completely killed it. I was hoping for it to get a deep out in a mid zone, but it did not. Um, 
So, like I said, and the problem, I said this before, I tw tweeted it out earlier in the week. Receivers, you should sell, and all other positions should be safe. And someone asked me, was like, why is corner not safe? We're going to get two tall corners. The problem with the corners we're going to get, Sertain and um, Sauce Gardner, man-to-man -man archetypes. Now, we did get a Sertain. He's actually really good. It depends on how you want to use Sertain. If you want the 96 Nike run Sertain, he's more for the slot because, again, zero AP pick artist, zero AP flat zone if you want the team of the year certain he's better for the outside because he does get zero ap dick pick artist and one ap deep out zone so like i said unfortunately sauce didn't get anything and we just got back to back get it goes which we want to stop that but nevertheless that's that so yeah team of the year ended up being kind of mid so i actually do have as you guys probably seen in one of our previous videos patrick willis that i was just waiting to sell so we're probably gonna need to probably sell him north of 1 million. I did invest in a couple of Rashard Joneses at 700K. He's already back up to not, I mean, over, excuse me, 900K. So we may ship him out and make our 100K on that investment. So yeah, man, the next promo, I think after this will be free agency. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get a free agency chemistry, but then I think after that, the next promo we should see is Easter. And I 100% expect a Easter, carrot, bunny, whatever chemistry um also i wanted to tell you guys how much i'm opening up these mystery packs at right so if i got it at 19,000 times 1.7 i'm opening each mystery pack at like 32,300. like i said ideally you would want your training at 1.6 but like i said mine is about an average i did get some at 1.6 i got some at 1.7 got some at like 177 some at 18 just depending on so i averaged it about 17 when i got it so if you know with the mystery packs, generally you want to open it up about 32, 30 to 32K per to make your profit. Now, I don't know how much the mystery pack is going to go up to, but, you know, obviously we're hoping with the Pro Max Fantasy Packs, which Pro Max Fantasy Packs, excuse me, which I want to address this with EA. Electronic Arts. If you watch my videos, I don't know if you do or not. I don't know if someone shows you my videos. Why in the hell did you touch the Pro Max Fantasy Packs odds two days before the odds boost? So if you guys didn't see the photo of mine on Twitter, maybe I'll show it on the screen right now. I think the Pro Max Fantasy Packs before had like a 5.3 chance of a 93 plus, and they randomly dropped it down to like a 4.2 or something of that nature. Just randomly on the Tuesday. Shout out to CC because he's the one that really found it out. But now, tomorrow, I'm going to check the odds and see where they're at. And I guarantee they're back up to like 4.5.2. Uh, because if we look at it right now, just so you guys not, don't see I'm crazy, 4.2. They were 5.3, like I said, before, and then they randomly dropped them to 4.2. Don't get it. Don't understand it, but it's electronic arts. What can we expect, right? Now, like I said, if you want to watch these live, twitch.tv slash the road to truth today, we will be opening these, um, and then I'm off to work in real life. But like I said, if you don't want to watch it on the um, Twitch, I will upload them like I did last time on the YouTube. Probably same thing, Playmakers and Legends. Um, star elites by themselves pro playmakers by themselves or pro maxes by themselves excuse me um super bowls if we get anything good out of those we'll up we'll upload those if not they're just a waste of time now a lot of people were very skeptical with this mystery pack rollover why i thought it would always be good is because if which it happened team of the year was mid the combine promo would still have some validity to it and with the odds boost going up in these, 93 should be pulled a lot more frequently. And if 90 pools aren't pulled more frequently, 90s are pulled more frequently, which makes 93s, which make nine, um, 96s. You get it? Got it? Good. So there's a good chance because this 96 has already jumped back up to over 500K. So there's a real good chance that a lot of these could be great. You know, if you're pulling in, I think the Pro Maxes go from 87 plus to 88 plus. So even with 88s, you know, you can make 91s, which can make 94s, which... Actually, 91s and 94s goes into the team of the year 95 sets, which actually go into the team of the year sets. So there's a bunch of things you can do with the pack trash that you're going to be getting out of these. So we definitely will be taking a look at that on stream, too. So like I said, if you want to come look at packs first and foremost, but then obviously we got to decide what we want to do with the contents of the packs, too. Um, so we're I mean, look, y'all, we still got a long way to go. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I may cut, edit, do some things, but yeah, we still got a bunch more to go. At the end, I'm going to show you guys my total compilation of packs. Um, and then we shall go from there. And then, yeah, I'll see you guys on the Twitch streets if you can come through or not. But let me know down below what you think of Team of the Year. I'm very curious because there's been mixed results. Some people says it's great. A lot of people saying it's bad. A lot of people saying it's mid. Me personally, I do think it's mid. They 
and it's and it's unfair because the cards are actually statted real good but the abilities are all over the place and with the combats getting those x factors unfortunately that's what the game is right now you know what i mean like and it's sad because you know it gets to the point in madden where stats are really irrelevant um i think cc made a good point where he was talking about you know 97 to 99 speed really doesn't matter at this point in time it's about the abilities and x factors on the cards which that is true that's exactly what the problem is right now is that you can have a great car that's not not tyree hill if you've seen tyree hill has 99 speed but one he's small but why would you want him when you can get a darius hayward bay or even a freaking romeo aduzia and get him 63 up to 97 98 speed because no one's really using abilities on the wide receiver right in terms of route route abilities because most everyone's running hot route master at this juncture so yeah man it's it's one of those it's one of my least favorite times of mad in terms of a like gameplay perspective because it gets very very repetitive um compared to what you're playing against you know specifically now now i want to talk about this what do you guys and i'm going to give my opinion on this because i got to talk a little bit while we open up these packs right what is you guys opinion on which x factor is the worst in the game there's been a huge discussion on twitter um what ability shouldn't be in the game what x factors i feel like angry runs and vanguard is the most it's basically eric dickerson on steroid if you didn't play madden 20 um shout out to joke you know madden 20 champ where he won it with a uh, trey west as his punter but eric dickerson terrorized there's a lot of people who gen genuinely have ptsd from eric dickerson in madden 20. i honestly think angry runs and vanguard is worse because vanguard if you don't know it's just an automatic pancake no matter who's in front of you and sometimes they can vanguard and then end up blocking two to three people and then it's off to the races and then like i said with angry runs staying on all game at least with the eric dickerson one if you did tackle him in the backfield it went off Whereas with Bo Jackson, after the first time plays, bro is lit up like a Christmas tree for the rest of the game. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I actually don't mind the actual unstoppable forces. Call me crazy. Reason why. Give some kind of realis realism to, you know, the game. Whereas you should not have eight, seven seconds to throw in the back. You know, an average quarterback has like three seconds to throw. And it builds some realism to that. But also, secure protectors kind of counter it. Whereas secure tacklers can counter it. The problem with that is there's not enough secure tackles you can have on your field, but then also have the zone KOs. Because a good player, what they're going to do is be able to run the ball on you. And then when you run, think they're running in, they're going to be able to pass the ball on you. If you're lacking those KOs in the back end, it's going to be a completion central. We all know that. We've played this game since the very beginning. We know how important KOs is. But it's been a big discussion, man. And another big discussion um, around threat detector. Do you guys feel like threat detector should be in the game? Like, I'm genuinely asking, if you don't know what Threat Detector is, it basically allows you to see if your opponent is blitzing third and fourth down, which everyone knows in the NFL is the money down, right? So, do should you be allowed to see on the money down if your opponent is bringing heat or not? I think you shouldn't. I think you should, if you're going to identify, just identify, just like any other quarterback do. But again, we're playing Madden Ultimate Team. The sense of realism isn't really there as much as it should be. So... It is what it is at the end of the day. I'm not going to really complain about it, but the angry runs, though, that needs to go. Specifically, if you've been playing Super Bowl mode, man, just if someone gets the ball and they have anger, you know, for the first nine plays, if they can maneuver to get around to wait till Bo Jackson gets activated and then Heath Miller starts the game activated, it's like, or if they have time. I played someone the other day, y'all, where they had, I played two separate people. One person had Bo Jackson at quarterback, Emma Smith at running back, and then they ran a read option to Bo Jackson running back. So it was two angry runs, read option, and then Bo Jackson had a trust where he couldn't fumble either. And then I played a second guy who had Bo Jackson running back, Bo Jackson tight end, and Bo Jackson quarterback. And then I've also played a guy who had Heath Miller and Bo Jackson both lit up, the tight ends, at receiver, and then he had angry runs. Like, dude, it's March. And I know a lot of people say, I want it. That's not fun. If you paid $60 and waited six to seven months to do that in this game, you're a loser. I'm, I'm just calling it a spade a spade. Like, just completely. If that's the way you choose to play the game willingly, now that you're doing it for a challenge, because I understand YouTubers do challenges or people do challenges for their friends. Like, willingly, if you're loading up a game with two lit up tight ends and a lit up running back, that tells me a little something about you as an individual. Just keeping it a buck. Just keeping it a buck. All right, so we're, we're we're closing into almost halfway. 
um it's about 15 minutes of recording here like i said i don't know how much you guys are going to see this because i'm going to cut up but obviously at the end we're going to see how much in total we got you know and then like i said twitch.tv slash through the truth to dig we will be live to open up all these well like i said we'll probably do the playmakers and legends first super bowl then pro max fantasy packs and then star elites i really do feel like the pro max has been cooking i do feel like the pro max has been cooking which we don't know if it's a good or bad thing or not because with the odds being updated we don't know how that's going to look like um the buttholes mess with the odds but um now one thing i will want from this rollover if there was i will want my star elites to cook if anyone knows me and if you see it's always my star elites that just let me down like just let me down tremendously like everyone pulls 94s 95s 96s and i'll just pull like a bunch of 90s now i do believe star elites now are going to be 90 plus i believe so i could be wrong um but i'm pretty sure star elites are going to be 90 plus again which is going to be good because 90s can make 93s 93s can make 96s so that's depending on how many star if we have 45 star elites that's guaranteed at least 45 90s you get what i'm saying that's what eight nine 93s which is two 96s which could be a million coins so um and that's you know not even depending on what else we pull out of those packs but again like i said i always try to go in on this i may end up doing more because what i did y'all is i just quick sold my super bowl coins if anyone knows me and watch i've been hoarding my super bowl coins forever i just quick sold those and just went in with those so like i said it was basically and i still have what about two million i've saved all the thirty-four thousands, and those are just sitting in my binder right now so i may end up quick selling those and maybe going in again why not you know with the remainder of that and just completely because i do believe this is a great rollover the last rollover was fantastic and i wish i would have went in more um and i kind of don't want to have that same mistake with this rollover so um we got three more packs and then we'll go, go halfway and check out kind of see where we're at and where we're sitting at so um to give us a kind of an understanding of what packs are being great what packs aren't or whatnot so um look the star elites they're they kind of cooked in the last couple packs so let's do this last pack and then we will go check obviously like i said the binder or the unopened packs and see how we did all right unopened packs palms 25 playmakers only 21 max fantasies 11 super bowl packs 23 star elites and 14 get a golds I didn't think we got that many playmakers. Just have I been yapping that much? I haven't noticed. But that's a good distribution. That's a good distribution. If we can get that again in our next 50 or so, I would be happy. All right, back into the grind. Back into the grind. But yeah, man, I've just honestly, in terms of just the game, I haven't been playing it this week. Um, if you, Obviously, I grinded for Justin Jefferson last week. I streamed a lot because, oh, by the way, there are open drops this weekend. Um, I think the first year, like a Twitch pack, and then you get like a 95 team of the year pack after that. But like I said, I just, yeah, man, I just needed a break. Um, I still got on, did my dailies and stuff of that nature, but I really didn't feel like making videos just to make videos. Honestly, I wasn't going to make this video, but I kind of want to give you guys an understanding of what I was doing, right? With the mystery pack rollers and then also under understanding how much I did, how much I spent, you know, obviously what we expect to make back. Then also give you guys an opportunity to watch this live because if you do watch not a lot of people or not the same people watch me on the youtube and watch me on the twitch i get a lot of people who come over and say i watch you on youtube all the time having a chance to catch you on twitch so this is an opportunity i should be uploading uploading this about two to three hours before we go live on twitch so should be an opportunity if you wish to you know check me out on the twitch you can definitely do so without a shot of a doubt so um like i said man i'm hoping to get 50 of each pack we're trending close we're trending close to get 50 playmakers mid 40s um star elites and mid 40 pro maxes so won't complain too much about that again like i said i'm paying about 34k per each one of these packs so you know honestly you probably need to pull like a 91 maybe like a 92 average out of each one of these packs which i said the star elites you know if it depends on what the market does in terms of moving it also depends on what offer they gives us in terms of you know them trying to steal money from us not me because i ain't spent money and i ain't spending money on madden 24 um maybe we will in Madden 23 but yeah we're chilling we're absolutely chilling we're just doing you know we're rolling it over mystery pack roll over this is the one time where i can really really go in on packs and not lose like i said i've done the mystery pack pro, mystery pack roll over every time since the beginning of man and i've yet to lose now i'm gonna you know knock on my desk and hopefully this time you know isn't worse but 
I'm just gonna hope that EA just hasn't decided, you know, on this overall booster. Like, oh, we're finally gonna mess up with the packs. So, um, man, we got a lot to get into. Absolutely a bunch and bunch to get into. Like I said, I'm hoping to be 50 over, you know, at least two out of the three big three, which is the Playmakers, Star Elites, and Pro Maxes. So, let's keep cooking. Let us keep cooking and see what we can end up with, man. Okay, Star Elites are going a bit crazy. Is that three Star Elites in a row? And it seems like when the Star Elites come, pause, they come in bunches. Like, it seems like they come in freaking waves. Um, which looks at I just need them to cook for me once. My goodness. Wow. Just Star Elite Central. All right. Okay. Well, we're not going to complain too much about, you know, Star Elite. Now, typically, I can open up the Giga Golds in Super Bowl, but I'm going to save them because, obviously, they both have gold. They both have gold slots, and you can obviously pull glitchy stuff out of the gold spots. And the one of the main reasons I'm doing this as well, not only are Puka Nakua and um, Kyle Hamilton in packs, but also... Jason Kelsey, the man on the Star Elites, are in packs. So, the 99 overall, which congratulations to him and his retirement. Um, been a pleasure watching him throughout his career, man. Just an undersized center who no one really gave a chance coming out of Cincinnati and just blossomed to one of the greatest centers of all time. So, is he the greatest center of all time? Or are we going like Dwight Stevenson or someone like that? Jeff Saturday. is. Are we giving the greatest center of all time to Jason Kelsey? Let me know down below. I know my Eagles fans and what they're going to say, but they're biased. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's keep cooking, man. We've been, we've been doing really, really good with the Star Elites and Pro Maxes. Hopefully we can keep this up. Um, we can keep the same energy and keep going. Like, yeah, just keep. Look, as, as bad as they are, they are technically the best packs by overall. So I'll take them. I'll take as many as them as possible. I'm not going to complain about getting too many Star Elites at the end of the day. Like we are apps. I mean, we're going Star Elite Pro Max Fantasy Pack just back and forth. Keep it going back and forth. You're not going to hear a complaint from me. You're not going to hear a complaint from me. Look, keep it going. If if you want me to keep talking about it, I'll keep talking about it. I'm not going to stop. If you're going to keep getting it, you're going to... Okay, all right, I'll shut up. But when he when he's gone, I'll be back again. Just like Smokey all Friday, what he said about Debo. You know? See, we back. Star Elite took... Take a break. Give me a get a go at every one every 30 packs. Why not? You know? Or back to the... Pro Man, these are going crazy man wow and yeah okay i deserve that that's fair there's a playmaker it's, it's been a while been a while playmaker now i'm hoping they get rid of legend packs in these and give us ultimate legend it's not like the ultimate legend packs are the greatest but i hope they do moving forward and i'll be interested to see what they take out with the super bowl pack and what they put into it do they put they put in combine they put in Genki Force, which would be two promos ago. What are we doing? You know, so it'll be interesting to see what they take out or what they take out and what they put in. Because, I mean, they also could put back in the pro playmakers and put back in the max fantasies. Don't know. You know, so we just got to kind of wait and see. Um, they just seems like they've been a promo behind since Zero Chill. Because Zero Chill was obviously in these packs. But um, after that, it seems like when we had playoffs, we had Campus Heroes. When we had Super Bowl, we had playoffs. We had... What well, combine we have Super Bowl, so it seems like they've always just been a promo behind in terms of these packs. But let's keep it going. We're down to our final meal, down to the final meal, and yeah, man, I, I want to see where we end up. I'm going in. It's about 6.4, almost 6.5 mil in coins. Could I risk more? Yeah. Will I risk more? I don't know. I do have a couple more things in my binder. Um, like I said, I could. I do like I said, I have about two million I could sell. And then you know go in i never wanted to dip below 10k or 10 million but dog i seen some great training like i got a brock purdy for like two brock purdies for like 150k which is 1.5 couple 94s under 100 um a couple 95s is like 160k 155 like some weekly wild cards so we decided to just go in you know uh once i seen those cars like i was at 10 10 million and then like there was four cards in a row just sitting there and i was like i gotta buy them all and that's what it kind of works out because, you know, but like I said, at the end of the day, it's coins. We can always make it back. We can always make it back. So, and hopefully, you know, this, we can make back another two, three million from this mystery pack rollover, which would be fantastic. Like I said, I may end up going in more. I'm not entirely sure, you know, but obviously this is going to be a lot that I'm doing on camera. So it is what it is.
I think we've gotten a fair few legend packs too. I just hope they take out legends for ultimate legend. It's not like the ultimate legends are great. Like I'll be honest, y'all, I haven't even picked up Shannon Sharp. Speaking of Shannon Sharp and speaking of the Broncos Steam team, I'll be honest, y'all. I want to make it, but I need a user. I need a user for the Broncos Steam team to come back to the YouTube. That's what I because right now I'll be using Shannon Crowder and Kenneth Murray, both with like 93, 94 speed, which is doable, but it's like I'm already going to be at a disadvantage using the Broncos Steam team. Give me like a Bill Romanowski or something like that. Or give me my boy Randy Gratishar, the Hall of Fame inductee. Why not? Hook it up. You feel me? I, I would like that. So maybe a big big body Steve Atwater. Multitude of things you can give me. I ain't gonna complain about it. So um down to the last 700 k This has been tough, man. This has been and it's been tough in terms of like recording, not tough in terms of actually doing it, but it's it's one of those things that's boring. Let's be completely honest. Um, like I said, the only reason I'm posting to the YouTube is because y'all ain't seen my faces in a couple days. You know? Which is normal. Like, I usually don't upload content on either Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, so, but we're here now. Rolling over. The mystery packs. Trying to make it happen. See if we can cook. <laughs> yeah, bro. I think Star Elites are about to come out on top. We should. Oh, yeah. Y'all heard that? We should have over 50 star elites. I think we should easily have fit over 50 star elites. Like, so I could put another six point something mil in, but I'm like, nah. Then also, I still have almost, I still have over 5 million strategy cards shilling in the binder too. So essentially I have like over 7 million coins. Actually, that's a lot. It's like 9 million coins sitting in my binder. If you count um, Patrick Willis and um, yeah, free safety, Richard Jones, if you count those, it's, you know, so we're, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're going to risk our 6.4, 200 packs, like I said, I may end up regretting not doing more, but at the end of the day, you can't knock it till you try, right, and we're definitely going to give it a try, final 300k, which is roughly, what, about 15 packs, so, Let's end these 15 off with a bang. Let's end these 15 off with a bang. And then we shall go into our unopened packs. See how we cooked. Hopefully we cooked well. Like medium well. You know what I mean? Which, by the way, that's the only correct way to have your steak. It's medium well. If you're a well done person, what are we doing? And if you're a rare person, you might as well just eat the cow raw. What are we... Like, what's happening? So, I don't judge, but I'm just making my opinion known. Um, let, let's end it off here with a bang. We don't want Super Bowl packs. Look, I'm not even gonna if we don't get a get a go this entire time in these next 10 packs, I won't be mad. No get a goats, which what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up one of these and hopefully I can get I think I need what 3,000 training. Perfect. We get it. We get 8,000. Excellent. So this should take us down um, to we got 10 more packs left. 10 more packs. Um, let's see. Like I said, these 10 packs, just no get a goals. Super Bowls are okay. Legends, I just, I mean, Super Bowls aren't the greatest. I, I was just joking. You don't have to put Super Bowls in there. Just make it, make it a Star Elite Pro Max Fantasy Pack Fest. That's just, just bless me. Just all of them. Pro Max Fantasy Pack, Star Elite, Star Elite Pro Max Fantasy. Just keep. Ask for one thing. One thing. You, you just couldn't. Okay. Okay. Now you're trying to get back on my good gracious now, and my good side. Too late, bro. You gave me the get a go. Mm -mm. Legend? Not bad. Please change those to ultimate legends. I beg of you. The ultimate legends are cheaper than the legend packs were, so I don't understand why we wouldn't be able to do that. I'm um, sorry. We got three more packs. Three more packs here. Can we get? I'm gonna say, look, two out of that's one. Two out of these three packs are either two star elites. Pro Max, like I need two out of three of those. There's a playmaker. Make this last one either a Star Elite or Pro Max Fantasy. Why not? Why not? My God. All right, so we ended up with 200 packs exactly. Wow. We ended up with more Pro Maxes than Star Elites. 20 Super Bowls, 10 Legends, and 28 Giga Golds is crazy. Wow. 20, I did not think we got that many get a goats, but we clearly did. 
All right, twitch.tv. We got a lot of coins to make, Mac. Let's see if we can do it. For real to truth, you dig. Hopefully, see y'all there. I'm out. Deuces.